The families of two women from North London stranded in China say they're desperately worried about their health. Mary Idou and Esther Jibril Badmos were on a business trip but were imprisoned for six weeks after getting into a dispute with a shop owner. They've now be been released but can't leave because their visas have run out. Aisha Baksh has the story. Esther Jibril Badmos had been travelling to China for the past few years. She would buy cheap clothes and shoes for her market stall in Tottenham. This time she took along her good friend Mary Ideo. But during an argument with a shopkeeper in Guangzhou, Esther was violently assaulted. When police arrived, she and Mary were arrested and charged with assault and criminal damage. They spent six weeks in a detention centre, where it's claimed they were forced to sleep on wooden planks near an open toilet. In the letters that she sent to us, she described that it was hell and she asked us in the letters that she sent to us, please do not let me die here. She doesn't understand it, she's confused about the whole thing, she doesn't understand why this has happened to her. She continuously said, I, d I haven't done anything wrong. They've since been released from prison but are still trapped in China as they've been refused exit visas. Their families say Esther has heart problems and has run out of medication. Mary has missed a cataract operation and is rapidly losing sight in one eye. Both families have spent thousands on legal fees and trips to China. The Foreign Office say they're offering consulate assistance but the children are desperately worried. The family's been not good over the house's door, sister's ox, my little sister, she's five, she's been asking me where's mum coming, when's mum coming, she's crying every time. And the family's just, no, nah, it's just apart right now. Like. Guangzhou, where this happened, is one of the biggest commercial cities in China. It's now home to many migrant workers from Africa, and there have been reports of some tension between locals and dark-skinned foreign visitors. White travellers tend to find themselves uh, treated pretty well and cordially through China. Uh, black people will experience more of a difficulty um, dealing with this kind of an issue because there, there, are, there is potentially a racist element. Laura recently returned from visiting her mum and says she experienced some hostility on the streets. Like, you walk past them and they hold their dolls. And we were speaking to a lady and she was saying, yeah, when she got out to China, everyone would call her black devil, black devil in Chinese, that they just see Chinese people, that Chinese people just don't see black people in a good light. Whatever the reasons are for why this all started, the families simply want Esther and Mary to come home. Aisha Baksh, BBC London News.